Hello everybody, welcome. Sorry for the uh, delay. The sound driver on my computer needed to be fixed. And it took unreasonably... It took an unreasonably long amount of time to do that, so... <laughs> but we're here now. Hooray! We're gonna start with the Grinch. <laughs> okay. This is my old Christmas banner because I didn't have the time to make a new one. <laughs> So we've got this one. It still, I think it still looks good though. So it's like, it's not a problem. <laughs> Let me make my microphone sensitivity a little higher on, on my VTuber thing. Because it's not always registering. But I, which is a little bit jarring. Uh, when I'm speaking, but I'm not speaking. <laughs> okay. I was hoping to get some, I was hoping to get business Christmas music in here as well, but uh, I didn't get that either, so we're a little bit unprepared today. <laughs> but, I mean, I often am. Whoa. Doesn't like me clicking out of the window. <laughs> Here we go. I tested this last night just to make sure it worked. Um, and it does. My my legitimate uh, PlayStation <laughs> is working. This is the first time I've played a PlayStation, just like a, a regular PlayStation game on my stream. I've played plenty of PS4 games, but no PlayStation the original. <laughs> Here's the Grinch. There's his butt. <laughs> oh wait, we're not getting audio, are we? The who's will pay. Now we're getting audio. There you go. <laughs> they are my precious gadget blueprints. Blue. All my inventions, my contraptions, my Machiavellian machines. <laughs> Sorry in advance if the game runs that a little bit poopy. Is the misanthrope scheme. Build gadgets from blueprints. Halt the holiday theme. What gadget should I build first? The Grinch Copter? With this, I can fly over the... <laughs> if I was, like, playing this on, like... If I was playing a PlayStation game, like, in earnest, I would try a little harder. But, like, no, no, for a no. silly Christmas Eve thing, spring. this is fine. <laughs> magnificent jumps. Or better yet, one of my most treasured weapons. The Let me close some extra windows that maybe don't need to be open. Out my enemies or the slime gun to just stick it to them. My marine mobile. No, no, no. <laughs> I know. Yes, this. Okay. Hopefully that helps it run a little bit more smoothly. Oh, 
I'll never be able to build my gadgets. But will this debacle make the Grinch <laughs> stop and quit? Of course not. Look at those graphics. Ledges. I'll stick with it. You know what? So smooth. Nothing's gonna stop us this year. I'll recover my plans piece by piece. And I swear to ruin the party for everyone. Even if I have to roam all over Hooland. So let's begin with the worst part. Whoville! I have more than one crafty way to upset those <laughs> irksome hooves. Okay, Max. Well, the graphics are a little ready. screwy here let's and there. Some people like to play these games in like higher resolution than they originally were, but I prefer the look uh, in the original resolution. Oh yeah, this is an this is a PlayStation game that uh, seems to have been before the uh, the analog stick. I hate hoos. Oh, you can just make him say that. You just make him speak? My heart is like a pea? Yeah, you just move with D-pad only. Boy, I get to play for like two seconds. I forgot my keys. There should be a spare one in one I got to move the Grinch for like two, a total of two seconds. The Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll what? And smush to get out of a bind. This power is one that he Why does he have controls. such a big like dump truck? Anything to attain all his goals. He's got a ground pound. The Grinch has a ground pound. What in the world? You can go into first person Grinch mode. He has a robust but Yeah, it really said he has a robust behind. That good old Grinch. Here's the key. You found, I thought it said you found the poor key. No, the door key. You found the door key? Door key. I wonder if there's ever been... Uh, this isn't exactly Christmas related, but I wonder if there's ever been any... Well, there has to have been uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory games. The strength of the Grinch is a legend in Whoville. There's nothing he can't move with Grinch muscle and will. Grinch muscle. Seize the object. I have my... I'm playing this on uh, an Xbox controller, but I have my... Uh, PlayStation controller sitting on my lap so that I remember which button is which. <laughs> I can look at that one and know which button to press. Hey Max, listen to me, boy. I, it's kind of funny because I usually have it memorized no when I'm actually using the PlayStation the controller. Dog is the mean one's right hand but he obeys for some reason, when I'm using a different controller, I can't remember fate. which button is which on the PlayStation controller anymore. The green one cannot. He approaches who strangers explores a small spot. Troll Max. Max can bark. That's all you can do as Max. You can move and you can bark. Thanks, you bad boy. Thanks. I thought he was gonna say you bastard. He said you bad boy. <laughs> wow, audio's having some struggles. To access the next room, please identify yourself with the breath analyzer. What? An anti who tool for which no blueprints exist is the smelly Grinch breath which cannot be missed. It appears in the shape of a rancid green cloud <coughs> and can be used any time it's always allowed. This fog oh. reveals things the naked eye can't see. 
Also, its rank odor weakens the enemy. Oh. Bad breath. Oh my. I, uh, why? No doubt. I get to play for like two no seconds at a time. <laughs> you can pass. I wish I almost wish that all of his abilities were just butt related and and instead of bad breath it was a fart. That would have been great. Grinch ass. Yeah, I figured there would be I figured there would be uh games for the Johnny Depp uh Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Adam. Because that was made you know, when video, when Press especially when licensed movie video games were a effects. thing. This guarantees he will be a pain. Did he say that effects. you'll activate cringe effects? Did he say it's cringe? That... Did I hear that right? At the heart of the heartless ones. Why, why does it only let me play for two seconds at a time? Computer with grinchy smarts inside. After I collect the plans that have blown away, I'll feed them to my processor, and there they'll stay. I mean... It will build my gadgets with just a click of its gears. I mean, uh... The game I'm gonna play in just a bit. Um, the, uh, the Santa Claus is coming to town. That game was from 2011, when the thing that it's based on is from 1970. So, I mean, anything's possible. Accessible. There's a Wonka game for the ZX Spectrum. Wow. The music is so dramatic. Super Dawes, he must do something first. Break all kinds of presents, make the packages burst. Once he's passed through this threshold, he'll be in a space filled with crazy games. It's a delirious place. What in the world is this game? Grinch, don't, do not. Go back up there. This heckin' game. Make 750 gifts to open this super door. Oh my lord. <laughs> I think I need to adjust the sensitivity even more on my mic on my YouTuber thing. Still not registering me all the time. <laughs> well when I look at it, it's fine. Whoa, the stream just absolutely pooped there for a second. Oh, this isn't an open door. Ouch! Ow! What? Ow! Ouch! 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 Was he jumping so hard that he's like slamming his head into this little ledge? We can just abuse the Grinch apparently if we want to. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, the stream didn't like me clicking on a different window. I think. I think I'm just not playing on the world's, like... The Grinch Best. has invented a vast vacuum uh, system. Through its miles of tubes, he most can get to the well working PlayStation. Have so dissed him. Dissed as him? Begin, just the path to Whoville is clear. But as the scheme falls in place, more roots will appear. Go to downtown Whoville. Alrighty then. Yeah. 
It's way down in Whoville that all who folk reside. They're hugging and kissing the mean Grinch can't abide. Kind heartedness and joy fill uh, the good old PlayStation graphics, huh? Honor and love fill the Who cornucopia. The Grinch must steer clear of their touch of affection. I think avoiding all contact will be sheer perfection. But as he evades all their touching and feeling, the Grinch also plays pranks such as Christmas gift stealing. <laughs> the Grinch also plays pranks such as pooping in the middle of the town square. <laughs> Taking a white hot dump in the middle of the town square. You don't have enough memory in the memory card. Never I do. <laughs> Boy, I've been a long process to save. Who grown-ups and children alike fear It just looks like a like but a person that through hugs he may change just an inch. The mean one must test different ways to evade all the who hugs and friendly advances they've made. And I just And I just flatten the snowman. Yep. <laughs> Just run around and break stuff. Can I leave a prank call? Could be a good place to dress up. <laughs> God! Adam, what am I reading? Yeah, I, I, I think the... the the Nintendo 64 just the mission book outlines the Grinch's to-do list. Using this, the mean one knows there's nothing that he's missed. One important task is breaking holiday gifts. Just thinking of this deed, the Grinch spirit lifts. I think the Nintendo 64 is just sort of objectively like the more powerful of these two consoles and just sort of looks a bit better on the whole. But, like, PlayStation graphics are charming as well. <laughs> I love, I love, I, oh God, please. The Grinch just discovered a small rotten egg. Take it, all mean one, whether you steal or beg. This vile, fragile item's your most useful tool. You plop it in Grinch gadgets to give them more fuel. The only thing I expect to be plopping is the Grinch's fat dump he's taken. I don't know why I say things sometimes. Yeah, the PS1, the the yeah, the PlayStation could could handle a lot more data because it used discs. Um, yeah, I really, I just really love low fidelity 3D stuff. I even like enjoy stuff that's even more low fidelity than this. So like I enjoy. I also really like the dithering effect that they use on the PlayStation. It's got a nice it's got a nice charm to it. I watched a video about the dithering on the on the PlayStation Some a while back. Some awkward, clumsy, dumb, and so slow. But the Grinch is more sprightly than your average foe. He can hang on to <laughs> ledges and swing round a pole, move right and move left to reach his roguish goal. I mean, an example of what the PlayStation can do over the Nintendo 64 is just how much voice acting is in this. I didn't know the Grinch was so acrobatic. What the heck? He's like Raz. The hell is you? What? What the hell are you doing? Does that guy have a gun? Oh my God! There's like blood. 
He has a knife! He's stabbing the Grinch! What? I thought the Who's were, like, friendly. Oh, it's paint. Oh, okay. He's painting the Grinch red. That sure wasn't apparent. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's like so much voice acting in this. And the music can just be... Shake to escape. Oh my god! Just body slamming a child. He hates the music, I see. The music is hurting him. No! Stop accosting me! Yeah, the PlayStation can also do FMV stuff. Of which they did much. Come on, kill the snowman. There we go. I like that he just destroys stuff with his butt! I can't get over that. That's a decision they made. They looked at the Grinch and decided, you know what? He's got a big butt. I bet he could break stuff with that. <laughs> they really just did that. I gotta tell you, though, I'm not a super huge fan of moving around in 3D with a D-pad. Well, I mean, you know, back in the day... I didn't... I didn't know any better. Uh... Super Mario 64 DS was fine to me. But uh, now... Now that I'm so used to analog sticks... I don't know. Wow, this kid doesn't like the grin... Go! <laughs> Just... Right, good. Hit him in the butt. That's what he uses to... to commit all of his crimes. He commits butt-related crimes only. <laughs> he sit. Love the flow frame rate animations. Please. Please, line up with the present. There. Can I breathe bad air, bad smell air into the window? I don't even know why the window opens and closes. <laughs> this music isn't, like, copyrighted, is it? It's, like, familiar to me. I'm not gonna get demonetized, am I? The tiptoeing Grinch is a master of stealth. If slyness were riches, he'd own a vast wealth. Be quiet. Do not make. Do not wake him up. Okay. This is a game that has a walk slow button. Music was made specifically for this game, so it was probably when I, I probably watched Vine Sauce play this at some point or something. To complete all Probably corruptions. <laughs> the Grinch must collect numerous items, each with a special effect. His book contains a record of what he must find to use in the setting for which it was designed. <laughs> Ruby Hexagon says the Grinch needs an attack, yet they did not know what. Of course they realized the Grinch shall attack with his butt. <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. He also is... I've witnessed him body slam children, though. He's also... He's also got that. You like how Whoville is a recurring place in Dr. Seuss uh, stories, but it's like never the same. He 
found a who cloak? I don't know. You tell me who cloak. <laughs> just go up and just bang the Grinch's head on the ceiling. <laughs> How do I get out of this? There we go. You can just abuse the Grinch if you want to. Not wake him up. And for a who cloak. Who cloak sounds awfully similar to hookah. Well, now he just looks kind of frightening. My God, he looks like the he looks like the the what you call it's the zombies from uh, Ocarina of Time. What are those? The ones that, like, scream at you? Oh, he's, like, terrifying. Another one! Free dead, thank you, bits. Looks like one of those. Always like those enemies, they're freaky. Especially when they first show up when you like go to the future. And like there's just these weird zombies out there. They're so good. Good moment of Ocarina of Time. I'm chugging a little bit here and there. I like how everything's textured, but only when you're like close enough. Interesting level of detail choice. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just color gradient, which is done uh, programmatically. If it's at all like on the Nintendo 64, you just give the. I think it's called vertex colors. And the rendering, the renderer just does that. Oh my god, Grinch. Another what? One. Pound it, please. Another one! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man. It's always kind of weird to me when there's games like this that are probably, like... I wonder what year this was. I probably I missed it, obviously, but... It's always weird when these games are, like, older than me, or, like, the same age as me. <laughs> it's like, dang, people made this when I was a baby. This is one of the Grinch's alts in Smash? What do you mean... The Grinch isn't in Smash? You mean it's his alt in Smash. Do you know something I don't? Oh man, oh I remember the Grinch leak. I remember it now. I can't forget the Grinch leak. Do, do y'all remember the Grinch leak? What was in the Grinch leak? Because I remember it turned out to be fake. I just remember everybody talking about the Grinch leak all the time. Like, I think, like, the Grinch was, like, trending on Twitter because of Smash Bros. <laughs> Why are they just leaving presents around randomly, anyway? I can't wait that long! I must find a way to change the time of that clock! That clock! I 
can't wait that long. The chorus kids. Banjo, Gino, Shadow, Isaac, Ken, Chorus Kids, Mock Rider. Well, Ken was just sort of obvious. Like, nobody was surprised that they put Ken in. Also, the one leak that turned out real about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was the one that showed Ken... And I remember people thought it was fake because there was like something like slightly off with Pichu, like his like Pichu's ear was cut off in his portrait. But uh like everything was legit and like like the pose that Ken was in was exact like his his appearance and the pose that he was in was exactly what he appeared as in the game for real. So And that one people dismissed. People thought that one was fake. But no, that was the one real one. <laughs> There you go. But yeah, all the leaks, all like the all the leaks leading up to the final uh like character roster announcement or like, you know, minus the DLC of course, was just that it was going to be uh Ken and uh Incineroar and then it was. So <laughs> There you go. It was the there was the box leak. Although it wasn't really a leak. It was just People were analyzing the box that they were showing, the Collector's Edition, and how there was, like, some extra spaces on there. And then just speculating what would go in the spaces, and everybody was like, okay, it's going to be Incineroar and Ken, and then it was. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah. I'm hard as a rock. <laughs> Stop. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to do that, but I did, and I'm happy. This outcome. Wait, this game is really just... You just run around and destroy presents. <laughs> I mean, it seems like there's more stuff to it than that later, but for now, that's it. It's a very simple game. I expect a Game Boy Color one to be the same, but, you know, 2D. Oh, so I don't know how to get back to that place that I was at when I first started this, where the guy was, was stabbing the Grinch. Banjo-Kazooie in the, the leak, the, the Grinch leak, I think was probably a, a long shot at the time. But it did end up happening. And the chorus kids were, like, they were actually going to be in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U at some point. Like, there's, like, evidence of them in the files. And just in sort of, like, the things, like, I don't remember, there was, like, some other things that pointed to the chorus kids having been in at some point, but, oh, here it is. One of the most compelling was just that... Um, like, the only enemy in Smash Run that doesn't match with a character was the, was the Rhythm Heaven one. Uh -huh. Found a paint bucket. What can I do with that? And like... <laughs> There you go. Ta-da! Yeah, the ghost, Sasha. Is there, there's a Rhythm Heaven enemy in Smash Run. Puka matches with Pac-Man. Like, pa like, the enemies that go with Pac-Man are just like... Like, other Namco arcades. Like, Pac-Man just represents Namco arcade games. In that game, basically. <laughs> Come on. Another one. Mission done. Yeah, 
Look at his face. He's so scary. What the heck? It's like a weird, creepy snowman face. So I've been playing this game for about a half hour. I think it's about time we're done. I'm planning to spend the most time on the, the Santa Claus is Coming to Town game. Because I actually own that one physically. <laughs> I mean, what am I talking about? I, of course I own this physically, too. Hey, Shiny. I don't even know what to do with the red paint. Accessing memory card! Quit. <laughs> well, no, the, well, I'm going to play another Grinch game. So there's still plenty of chance for that. Don't worry. <laughs> Santa's coming to town. We are powerless to stop him. This is true. Universal Studios, huh? So this is from 2000. So this... So, okay, the other one probably was too. Copyright 1957. Oh, loud. Oh, please, game. Why is this one so much louder? This is the one with the, with the Grinch art that we all know. And love is up to personal opinion. <laughs> Christmas time in Whoville. What? Yeah, what? Look at this art. What were th was happening? Whoa! Pixel artist was horny. Grinch hated Christmas and everything about it. Oh, thank you, Shiny. <laughs> I must stop this whole thing. Been putting up with all of this fuss for years. And what's with the sexy Santa lady? Wasn't expecting that. But how? <laughs> he does kind of just look like a furry character, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, same shiny. Grinchy grin. Oh, this isn't a... I thought this was going to be a platformer. Imagine a game where you die when you become nice. These sound effects. There it is! There's the art! There's the one that people freak out about. <laughs> Wait, we, 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 I got it, I've got a... I've got a, I've got, I've got a joke to do. This is business idea. I gotta make it happen. Just like, do like that. <laughs> Make it look worse. And <laughs> yeah, this is kind of better than the other one, to be honest. Like, it's more simple for sure, but... It's Pac-Man, but you're allowed to stop moving at any time. Is 
is incredible. Don't ask me why it was Biss's idea. I'm just bringing it to fruition. They wanted to they wanted to mod the game so that uh, it would just be like that. There we go. <laughs> Gotta protect the currency. Oh my god. <laughs> This one so far is much more entertaining than the PlayStation one. For all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Seasons greasons. Is it just me or does the Grinch sprites make... He looks like a bug. He looks like a weird bug. What the hell is this move? How do I get in there? It's the sexy Santa lady. He does look like a bug. <laughs> I wish it was like Wario and he had idle animations where he scratches his butt. A Grinch game that's like exactly like Wario Land. How about that. Now, getting chased was actually helpful because it allowed me to. Oh, you can crawl! I see. He looks even more like a bug now! Look at him! But Grinch. Aw oh, man. He's got like a portrait as if he's like in Doom as well on the side there. The Grinch, but it's Doom. He looks like a weird bug! Why didn't I stand up again? Mission failed. Yes, please. I like how they're called scenes. <laughs> how many Game Boy Color games have I have I streamed now? I'm streaming Super Mario Bros. Deluxe right now, obviously. I streamed uh, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver on the Game Boy Color years ago. Um, oops, I forgot about the. Oops. And I, so, and then. I wonder if that's it. I think it's just the three. Look at this- look at this bug Grinch! I keep forgetting to stand up again. Stay away from the Game Boy Color Rayman games? Oh. <laughs> what Game Boy Color games have I just played overall? Well, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, of course. Um, I've played, uh, Pokemon Silver, or was it Gold? I had either Gold or Silver. <laughs> I've played Wario Land 2 and 3. I've played Shantae. Um, I wish I had my 3DS here with me, then I could just tell you. <laughs> I gotta look on my phone. Second. Let me look here. This is kind of derailing things, but I want to know. I want to know. What you're thinking. 
Tell me what's up. <laughs> okay, let me go to my backloggery. And look at Virtual Console. Oh, I've played uh, Link's Awakening DX. The horny Grinch art really is incredible. Come on. I'll just... Good job. Great work. Great, great, great work, me. You hate the Grinch art, Sasha? What's wrong with my Grinch art? <laughs> oh my god! Why did it do that? The Grinch looks like a furry. He looks alternatively like a furry or like an insect. Or... yeah. Well, that does, that's it, actually. Oh, okay, here we go. Stuff is loaded. Virtual console 3DS. Let's see. So, yeah, Link's Awakening DX. Oh, yeah, I played Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. I played Mario Golf. That's a good one. Pokemon Gold, Shantae, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Toki Tori. Can't forget about that one. And Wario Land 2 and 3. Those are the Game Boy Color games I played. <laughs> and now this. And also, uh, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. Ah! Uh. Okay. I like how his shadow is green. Have you have have any of you noticed that yet? That the Grinch's shadow is also green. This game's harder than it looks. Very interesting game. I think they should have just they should have had the Grinch just get shot. That would have been pretty great. <laughs> wow, if they start chasing you, you just cannot get them. You can't Venus them anymore. Venus bonus room. Ah. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, this room. This one's tough. Why? Oh my god! Dang kids! Come out of here and let me strangle you with whatever the hell this is. What?! You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting scrambled by the Grinch live on stream. Oh, no! Oh! The Grinch gets beaten by the police. Let me try this again.
<laughs> I really mean, the Game Boy Color is one of my favorite consoles. I don't know why exactly. I just love the particular way things look on the the Game Boy Color. Ah! It's like the NES, but with sort of like a nicer color palette, and also like it's like more graphical fidelity than the than the NES as well. Like it's a little more powerful. This, with the visual stuff it can do. I personally enjoy it a lot. There you go. Music's pretty good a lot of the time, too. I mean, some music on the Game Boy and Game Boy Color tends to get a little shrill. But, uh, this one seems to not be going into that territory. There we go! <laughs> I'm being destroyed by children? Now I know how you felt that one day at your nephew's birthday, Sasha. <laughs> oh! Yeah, who gave the cops freeze rays? At least they don't have that in real life. What if you turn into Pac-Man when you got caught? You don't? I just love the way the Grinch, like, shrits, like, slouches everywhere. He has terrible posture. My lord. Okay. Grinch back problem simulator. Oh, please! I love that the kids all, like, love the Grinch. I think he's great. And he's actually an asshole. Do, do, do. I love the walk animation, though. Look at how just like smooth this walk animation is. Do 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 Imagine like a widened version. Do 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 I can give us that actually. Hold on. Hold on, I can widen him. Can rebuild him. Have the technology. See if I remember how to do this. Here we go. <laughs> I can do like this. So that's less wide. There you go. <laughs> there, now he's wide. Do 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 I had a way before to make it even wider. Let me see if I can see if I can do that. Um There was How did I do this? Oh, this is it. This must be it. No? No, that doesn't... that's not it. <laughs> I wish I remember how to do this easily. I did it before. It's frustrating. Well, we got them wide enough, I guess. Oh, I think, oh wait, no, I think I remember you do like this, and then you tell it to, like... Um... Ah, uh, never mind, I don't remember how to do it. Quit bu I'll quit bothering with it. <laughs> I'm just wasting time! Oh, oops. There. <laughs> 
It was funny enough. No! How was I supposed to- No! <laughs> Try again. I'll probably call this one good in just a little bit. I don't know why I expected this to be a platformer. Probably because that's like... Par for the course. Licensed games. They just make a platformer. <laughs> yeah, this is more interesting than if it was just a platformer, I think. Oh, that was a kid! That was- oh! Bum holes. Levels get pretty complicated. Uh. I'll give this. I'm probably not gonna finish this level. I'll give it one more try. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Wait, what was he doing? Oh, you can make snowballs? Look! Oh, now I just do this. Oh, you can give yourself a ranged attack. Oh, dang, there's like more to this than I thought. Oh my god. Oh, I see, and it only works when you're on the snow. This is kind of incredible. Ah, oh. noodles. What does the P stand for over there on the right? There's W, which is probably weapon. But what could the P be for? Ah, poop. Also, the P is yell is on a yellow square, so I think I know what it is. And there we go. That was the Grinch on Game Boy Color. I like the Game Boy Color one better than the uh, the PlayStation one, but the PlayStation one was entertaining as well. <laughs> Game's really giving me the noodles. It really is. All right, let's go back over here while I set up. Also, Biss sent me the Biss the Twig Lift music. Can we get some some Christmas tunes while we wait from Biss? <laughs> All right, let me set up my capture card. Capture. <laughs> oh, also, before I move on to, uh, to, uh, next game, I also should show the new game I'm working on a bit. And, Sasha, I can share the music you made for it, if you want. Well, that inspired what I, uh, what I put together so far. I mean, probably everybody here who's going to see this live or later on YouTube is probably has probably already seen, but I like to share on video. Well, I haven't said very much about it yet either, so I can I can talk about it a little bit. Here we go. Don't need the nunchuck for this game. Had to load my batteries in the Wii Remote. <laughs> Some funky Christmas music. Uh, 
This has probably been my favorite uh, Christmas stream I've done so far, actually. These Grinch games are really funny. Last year, what did I even do? I did, uh, well, I did Santa Claus is Coming to Town for the DS, which was kind of just, it ran terribly. The DS, uh, my, my legitimate DS, of course, is what runs terribly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially trying to stream it for whatever reason. Um, and I did Christmas Nights into Dreams, which at first didn't work, and it was like really upsetting. But uh, then I got it working, and it was cool. But yeah, this is much more entertaining. Um, the year before that, I did just sort of a bunch of random stuff, like Home Alone on the Sega Genesis, and like. I don't even remember what else I did. <laughs> I did that one game with the Christmas princess that like shoots everybody. I don't remember the name of that one. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll play the other side again here. Oops. I forgot if I click away, it doesn't play. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Please switch HDMI for me. There we go. Where's my phone? Press A to continue. I'm going to retweet the announcement, since I'm switching games now. Grinch to Santa Claus. There you go. I gotta change the category. Santa Claus is coming to town, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Hey Sasha, can you send me your song again real quick? So we can uh, we can show that. Whoa, whoa. Off the screen. I'm off the track. This is too big. Get this all fixed. There I am. Okay, this should be, should be the one. That's the one. How did it end up with the borders messed up again though? I'm gonna fix that. Um, that's audio. How did how did this get removed? Whoa! What the heck? Oh, thanks, Sasha. Okay, in the top, go. The right, the bottom, there. Okay, we're good. So, let me show you what I made. Let me, uh,
Hold on, actually, I should go back over here. Ta-da! Whoa, it's big. <laughs> there you go, this is... The new game I have decided to announce. Ta-da! <laughs> it's the sequel to Marshmallow and Fruitland. And I was in, this visual was inspired by... A song that Sonic made. That I thought sounded perfect for uh, a theme song. For Marshmallow Goes to Space. And then I decided to... Uh, Put together a couple ideas. Let me play the song for you. There you go. <laughs> I think I think that the uh, the art is enhanced by looking at it with the song. <laughs> so basically, this game, so Marshmallow and Fruitland. Um, was was a puzzle platformer that was just like sort of individual levels, right? Um, this one is going to be more of a Metroidvania type of thing, where it's you just kind of explore around and find puzzles in the world. Um, and basically, the the basic plot of the game is that uh, Marshmallow has run out of fruit and uh, is building a rocket to go find more fruit. <laughs> <laughs> to go out in this space to find more fruit. So throughout the course of the game, your goal is to find pieces to uh, build the rocket out of. And that's sort of the basic premise I have so far. I just have like a few sort of scattered ideas about what's actually going to be in the game so far. It's very early, and I'm also primarily focused on other game projects. So also, yes, Ruby Hexagon. There will be ducks. In fact, I thought of the idea of. Once you have enough of the rocket built, you can go inside and there will be like little shelves around uh, on the walls in there, and then the ducks that you collect will go on the on the shelves in the rocket ship. <laughs> and, and then presumably take them with you when uh, Marshmallow goes to space. <laughs> They've called it Marshmallow goes to space, but uh, you don't go to space until the end, basically. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's coming eventually. <laughs> Gray area is still my primary focus, but... I was having some ideas, so I wanted to get that one out there. Alright, now for the main event. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you liked uh, Marshmallow Fruitland. All right, it is time. <laughs> you have to hold the Wii Remote sideways for this game. I remember the Red Wagon Games is the same company that made the DS version of this game, so... Oh, I almost forgot. Let me let me show you the manual for this game. Or at least the manual that I got for this game. Oh, this is probably copyright claim. Let me mute that for a sec. <laughs> it sounds like a remix, at least. I'm going to send this picture to Sasha, so that it's on my computer. Oh, wait, where did I put this? Oh, I put it in the server, actually. Well, that's fine. There you go, that's what's in the back of the manual. <laughs> There's just somebody, some kid scribbled in there at some point. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> well, what the heck, if I can get, if this video doesn't get monetized, it's fine, I guess. As long as they don't mute it. <laughs> it's always concerning when you have menu options that make sounds like this. 
that's the that's the that's the sign of choice shovelware. <laughs> what, what could the options for this game even be? Tilt control? Well, it's the Wii. We want tilt control on. I want to experience this with tilt controls. I'm using tilt controls. Player 2, press 2 to join. Oh yeah, you can have somebody else play as the penguin. I saw that on the box. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. My name's Special Delivery Kluger. SD for short. Oh, I've got lots uh. of letters for Santa today. And every got year, lots of lettuce for Santa? Some ask for toys, but a lot ask questions. I can answer all of your questions because I know everything about <laughs> Santa. The best place to just going to stop at I know everything. When Santa was just a baby. <laughs> Good. Herr Bürgermeister, look what was discovered <laughs> this is just, on your This is suit. just, let's do a the movie baby. again, but make it look oh, much worse. <laughs> a baby? And, and sound baby. worse. Please, sir. Take care of my Why was this necessary? Protect him from the dangers of the mountain of the whispering wind. I, Burgermeister Burger, take care of a baby. Outrageous. What's its name? This is the only clue, oh sir. It says claws. Oh yeah, we had take fun with with the DS version it. last year. That's the proper place for foundlings anyway. Word. Get the brat out of here! I don't like this. I remember the dialogue where there was a picture of him on both screens. Like there was... <laughs> there was one of him on the top screen and one of him on the bottom screen. The animals knew they Look at those walk cycles! <laughs> They're just... What in the world? Baby Look at him go! They could, they That's how a deer way. walks, right? A baby! What a splendid idea! This looks like a Nintendo 64 game with the environments, at least. His tag says Claus, unusual name. We shall call him Chris. Chris Kringle. I. Yeah, we played the DS version last year. <laughs> this is just losing it. The, the, the character's older, name is Kluger. He learned everything from the Kringles and his animal friends. How to run, oh, we just skipped ahead in the plot a lot. And most importantly, how to have fun. How to run and how to jump? You're That's what they penguin. taught him? Honk, honk. Well, what's a penguin doing here? You better travel That's his me. voice? You need someone to take care of you. <laughs> Are you just... Oh, is that what you meant by tilt controls? You... No way. You can't, you can't see right now, but how I'm moving left and right is by, is by turning the Wii remote like it's a steering wheel. And when I turn it to the right, he walks, oh no. When it said tilt controls, I didn't, I never once suspected this is what it would mean. And the more you turn it, the faster he goes. This is... Magic snowflake. This is like the worst Collect possible controls for a platformer you, you could have. Press the two button to make Chris jump. Press the two button. I cannot believe that this game would do that. That is going away. <laughs> I, I that would be. Whoa! When you get it, whoa! When you jump up there for a second, it, the game becomes 60 frames per second, and then it. And then it's no, not anymore. Stop. You land. Try to find one I unlocked a movie? Each level. <laughs> Press the one button to make Chris shake that tree. When he said press the one button to make Chris sh... I did not expect shake at first. 
<laughs> I thought it's gonna did make him do something else. I am no longer using tilt controls, that is correct. It's manhandled the tree, I guess. I almost want to backtrack to see if I missed any snowflakes, but then I remember this is the game I'm playing. And it's like, why would I spend time backtracking? Like, just why? This game came out 10 years later than the other ones that we played today, by the way, chat. Like the other two? Those Grinch games are from 2000. This is 2011. A golden snowflake. Grab that for bonus snow. No, don't pick up yellow snow. You can't. You can't fool me. That's not a golden snowflake. You. You can't make me pick. <laughs> That's. <laughs> okay, fine. You can't just call it a golden snowflake and and think that I'm not gonna know what what that really is. Do the motion to fix so as many course, toys as you can. To teach Chris how to make toys. That motion? It's not a... Okay. Stab it. What is that sound effect? This is certainly a video game. You did it. I did something. Yeah, you like the two frame loading screen animation. I'm a man now. Oh, he said it. I can take those toys across the mountain. I was just I was waiting for an opportunity to bring up the the thing I'll where they now. and they did it just as abruptly as in the real thing where like in, it's so the funniest part in the movie is just all of a sudden he just randomly he just turns around he's like, "I'm a man now." <laughs> And it's just... And he said it in a... <laughs> and it's just abrupt. Oh man, look at the frame rates this game is getting. This game wasn't made for any other consoles. Like, not this, like, iteration of it. Like, the DS version of this game is just a completely different game. This isn't the game that they had to scale down to fit on the Wii. This is the game they made explicitly for the Wii. Why are the frames like this? Th this one... I'm not even being coy when I say that this is being played on a legitimate Wii. Like, this is not emulated. I literally have this. I'm playing this on my original Nintendo Wii. As it was produced in like 2006 or whatever. This is just how the game runs. Oh, wow. That one patch was actually slippery and not just snow, and I would never tell that. Not only that, not only was this game being made specifically for the Wii, but this was being made late in the Wii's life cycle. Like, like the Wii U came out the next year after this was out. Like, the 3DS was out the year this came out. Like, people should have known how to, like, make Wii games that run at this point. Like, I know I'm complaining about a game that's ten years old now, but... I mean, come on. <laughs> Shouldn't there be an Aurora instead of a rainbow? I mean, there could still be a rainbow. Yes, this game is 2011, Adam. I kid you not. And so, Chris continues his journey across the mountain of the Whispering Winds for a movie Winds that came out in, in 1970. To I don't know why this game was made. 
I don't know who approached who or why it was necessary. Like the Wii's heyday was over at that point. Like the like the point at which people were were, were like champing at the bit for Wii games and would just buy something like this. We're over. Like they missed their opportunity for just like jumping on the bandwagon of just everybody putting stuff on the Wii. I don't know why this game exists. <laughs> and it's so like crappy. Oh more? So much yellow snow. I don't know why this exists. This is so bananas. I mean, games kept coming out on the DS after the 3DS was out. In fact, Nintendo themselves released a couple DS games, even though the 3DS was already out. Like Chris Pokemon Black Version 2, for instance. Town to deliver his toys. But what he didn't realize was at that very moment, in the Sombertown City Hall... His Honor, Burgermeister, Meister Burger. Maybe this is targeted towards people who couldn't afford newer consoles? I mean, maybe, but... Do those people want Santa Claus is coming to town? I've broken my funny bone. <laughs> I mean, I got this game for like $10. And like... Copies were not selling for much more than that, even if they were like brand new and sealed and everything. This game is cheap. Burgermeister Meister Burger? <laughs> oh my god. The fact that they felt the need to recreate the scenes from the movie but just done worse is really. <laughs> it's it, it's something having arrived in this guy looks like the elf practice Chris scum began handing out toys to every boy and girl oh this has to be licensed music actually no this doesn't sound like the original version either I think they just did their own versions Yeah, no, this isn't the original version. I think we're good. In the clear. <laughs> they just did it. They couldn't. <laughs> it's so funny that they just, they're like, we have, God, look at what is happening with the frames. Why? Oh, this is horrible. Press the one button to make Chris open that chest. Like, it's one thing when a game just has a low frame rate, but when it's, like, inconsistent, you, like, really, it, like, really gets hammered into your eyeballs. That it's bad. I mean, they did a fairly good job recreating the song, I will give them, but it's just funny that it's not the original. This is such a boring platformer, too, by the way. Like, nothing is happening. Like... Like, do you realize if I didn't feel the need to pick these up, that you could basically just press the right... You can basically just press right on the D-pad and do nothing else and you would be fine. Like, this is the most simplistic platformer possible. I mean, I get that it was made for kids. But... You know... Kids can play video games too. <laughs> you know, like, you don't have to dumb it down quite this far. Boy... But you wasted the song too early. What was even the point of it? 
He's not even Santa Claus yet. He's he's still this dorky guy. I'm a man now. My god, I can't believe the frame rate problems with this game. This is absurd. It's like getting worse. Why? What is even like what is it pro what is the game processing? Or like what is what is it making the Wii process that is doing this to it? What could be straining the Wii this hard about this game? There's like there's like glimpses of 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 smooth frames here and there. It's just so weird. Welcome to the to the world of licensed video games. Cheap licensed video, like license, like, like that's the thing, you know. Like licensed games can be good. We've, you know, we've discussed that many times on this stream. But, like, this one is not. <laughs> Like, like, it's not the fact that it's licensed that is, like, the, the pure, like, problem with it. But, uh, it's not doing it any favors in this case. This is why they have such a bad reputation to this day still. Like, like, there's been good licensed games recently, and yet they still review terribly, like... It's just sort of... Oh, wow. Is so I gonna be doing this, huh? You have to give presents to the kids. I just realized that I should try doing that, but... Was the actual movie that good? I always like it. It's kind of hokey, but I mean, so are all of the Rankin and Bass uh, movies. <laughs> and it has a it has a psychedelic trip in it too, of course, because it was made in 1970, and everything had to have that back then. The frame rate, or excuse me, the cutscene is smoother than the game. You must not play with toys. <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? And, uh, who are you? <laughs> Jessica. He's the, what do you mean by giving the, the children his voice. toys? Don't you know toys are against the law? Well, gee, that's kind of a silly law. If the Burgermeister saw you, we would all be... I love that they had the budget to voice act everything. But Why not the budget the for the original, liar. like, voice acting. Toys or the original music, I just seems all over the place. For you, the texture. Oh, uh, that's not even you, your hands, please. I always wanted one when I was a little girl, but my parents wouldn't. Corners were cut. Thank you. So, like, she's a hardened criminal. I hear. Well, they cut the corners so hard that they, like, oh, cut into the game. Like, presents. they cut more than the corners off of this one. For one oversized Kringle and a little lost penguin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this one feels so rushed and, and just pooped out. They wouldn't have had any, like, what, what, what was their deadline? You know? The, the movie came out in 1970. Back in the name of the law. You brats are under arrest. Take them away. Don't arrest those kids. It was my fault. I gave them the toys. You? How dare you? You are obviously a nonconformist and a rebel. Arrest this man. Arrest him. It's just the same lines again. I... They do not... What? Why would you play out this scene in the level like this. Like, arrest this man! And then they just stand there and stare. What, what, what were the choices made here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's just say the lines exactly from the movie, but we have to use these Stop. different voice actors. Oh, now they're trying to arrest him. God, this is something else. Wow. 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 Well, that didn't do anything. Hot. 
both! The frame rate is getting worse, I swear. Every level. I can't believe it. This is incredible. Mario hates Chris. Well, yeah, remember? <laughs> Santa Claus is not real and Jesus did not happen. Mario's famous quote. Oh, there's a piss crystal up there. Oh my god. The piss crystals are real. Remember? Bug Fable? Oh god, please. I just want to jump off of this platform. Thank you. Can you defeat all the guards and get a genocide ending? Stop! No? Oh. I... Video games. When they... When, when John Video Games invented video games, do you think that this is what he intended? this what in the world okay <laughs> still gotta play bug fables you forgetting you have it oh I see <laughs> Remember someone once did art of Mario version of the classic Christmas Carol movie and Wario was... Scrooge. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is the same to see like a proper 2.5D platformer sucks so much. <laughs> Look how much smoother the menu. Oh, it's, this is one of those games where it doesn't show the game underneath the menu. Because it's just pushing the Wii so hard for God knows what reason. Yeah, this is properly a 2.5D platformer, isn't it? Because, you know, the, the level, like, twists and turns and everything. I can't believe I feel, like, unsatisfied that I didn't collect everything in the level. Like, who cares? <laughs> Who cares with this game? <laughs> Shante, the Shante half genie hero, was 2.5D, right? Of Town, but he wasn't safe yet. He still I 100% completed that game, and I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Wow. God, it's... I... Does this game have a memory leak? Why is the frame rate getting worse and worse? Nothing we do seems to stop the frame rate from getting choppier and choppier! How do you get up there? Hey, oh. Is that about why is What is wrong with this game? I didn't when I started like when I planned to play this game, I didn't expect that like one of the problems would be like horrible performance issues. Like I thought my I thought it would just be like sort of just poking fun at, you know, haha, shovelware. It doesn't look that great type of game. But no, it's like legitimately like it's got problems. Beyond just presentation. It's got serious technical issues. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna get the best ending and see Santa turn into Super Santa. Wow. And just the cost of the tree. Why does Santa need to collect snowflakes anyway? Also, isn't the thing about snowflakes that they're all unique? Yet all of these snowflakes are suspiciously all exactly the same. And some of them are yellow. Don't lest you forget. <laughs> you like the lighting? I mean, maybe they should have toned back on the lighting bit based on the performance. <laughs> Uh, like it got, look at how smooth it is in the cutscenes, though. Phew. I wonder where we are. Honk, honk. You are trespassing on the land of the Winter Warlock. Hey, let go! Apparently, let go. they couldn't think of something actually clever, like candy canes or ornaments or something. Ah! Oh. The, the voice. And then he's just strolling up. Hey, everybody, look, it's the Ice King. Look, uh, before you do me in... Looking a little older than I remember him. Three friends to let me loose for a second? You see, I have something for you. What is this, a trick? Oh, no, sir, Mr. Warlock. Or may I call you Winter? Mr. Warlock, if you please. Well... Is the I audio off on the stream, by the way? Boy, and I'd like you to have it. You wish to give me a present. You can't go to the home menu when cutscene's playing. Because I'm noticing there's like a significant delay between the visuals on my TV and on the capture. If you just call off. What? Oh. Yes. Yes, of course. You put one foot in front of your mother. Excuse me. You put one foot behind of your mother. And soon you'll be. Excuse me. Let me let me let me do this right. Put one foot behind of your mother, and soon she'll be flying out the door. A choo choo. I've always wanted one. My icy heart. It's melting. It looks like the audio is actually more in sync with my capture card. Look, Mr. Warren. Than it is with uh. Call me Winter. Suddenly, my TV. My whole outlook has changed from bad to good. But will it last? I really am a mean and despicable creature at heart, you know. It's so difficult to really change. Difficult. I mean, it's hard to tell if the audio is in sync because changing the the voices aren't matching the lip syncing at all. First step. Yeah, something has gone really screwy with this game. It's the song. Oh, you have this is an auto scroll level. My god. It's a hell of a thing. You never will get where you're going. If you never get up on Okay. It's animation. Yeah, I think you're getting the audio out of sync. Yeah, there's like a super delay here. Let me... I mean, not that you would have noticed with this game of all games, but... Yeah, it seems to be synced now. No, it's still kind of delayed. I mean, I don't care. This game, <laughs> but... Just so you know. Yeah, 
How long have I been streaming this for? Almost an hour. I'll try to stick it through for the full hour. <laughs> but I can't give it more than that. I'm sorry. We'll do we'll we'll do Biss's trailer though. Wow, I missed the sock. Can't believe it. The lily's not that bad, actually. It's just noticeable because I'm looking for it, I think. Actually, no, I think it's I think it's pretty synced now. I blame the game for the desync, though. <laughs> it's golly. This is just... Is what it is. <laughs> Here you go. The auto scroll level. <laughs> the little just sound of him landing on the snow. It is what it is, and what it is is not good, says Ruby Hex Gun. Oh boy, time for a mini game again. Wow, the frame rate is good again. Well, there she is. She's in there. <laughs> well done. It's Crystal Snowball. Put one foot behind of your mother. <laughs> And soon she'll be flying out the door. God, it just keeps going, doesn't it? Frame rates have improved a little bit again. I thought I'd never find you again. I wanted with the to crackly bring audio. These letters and notes from the children of What's with the crackles? Asking for more toys. You see, the Burgermeister destroyed the ones you brought. You tell those youngins there'll be plenty of toys, but only if they behave themselves. No crying or pouting. With a letter from Sombertown. We're I picking up letters. Sure I grab every letter I can find to make sure all the children get what they want. Why has the audio gotten so awful? Can't play much more of this. I'm sorry, everybody. It's getting to be too much. for silly Christmas Eve stream. Or can you, like, jump off? It does, is this game fancy enough? You can jump off it for more height? Okay, the camera is making me ill. I can't keep doing this. After I cast this spell, you'll be able to jump high into the Oh, sky. I see how it is. Listen to the sound effect. I hope this helps. Sounds like a sound effect from Bowser's Inside Story, actually, a little bit. There's like an enemy that makes it sound a bit like that. I think it's the, the newses. Music is so horribly generic. Everything about this game is just making me feel sick. I don't want to keep playing it. You ever, does anybody else ever get that when you when something is like really boring, it like makes you feel like physically ill, like you're more than just bored. It's like physically sickening in a way, but it's like. It's like not quite like nauseous, but like like similar and like weird. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? He has a mailbox. Why is the why are the letters? I, I give up. <laughs> oh 
my god. It feels good to be home, but there's no time. Do the to motion. I get, oh my god. I okay, I'll do this. I can, and then no more. No more of this game. You get like that, Sasha? I see. <laughs> Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay. Video games, am I right? You like how... No wonder people didn't like motion controls. They probably played stuff like this. What a waste of time this is. <laughs> Great job. Great job! <laughs> this game is a lot and not in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't quite last the whole hour again, with this that I had planned. His way to Sombertown through the mountain of the whispering winds. I like how unsubtle everything is in this. Like the like the gloomy town it's called Sombertown. Okay, I cannot do this any longer. Let's go look at what else is in this. Such punch to the to the sound when you select an option on the menu. Yeah, it was twelve chapters. <laughs> and look at this. Bonus. Where did we get? Movie stills. You unlock screenshots from the actual movie. Oh boy. Yeah, they're, they're just like, look at how much better the, that the actual thing looked than what we put together here. <laughs> they're just like JPEGs. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Pictures from the movie. <laughs> Makes you wish you were watching the actual movie. It certainly does. As like, if they wanted this to get people to watch the movie, they did it right, I guess. Wow, those are the only mini games. Toy repair and gift. Well, let's wait. I don't think we did gift giving. Point at the screen to hand out presents. Okay. Yeah, point that's at the screen to hand out. Presents. That's literally it. You just point. Like there are no buttons in this. I point at the screen to hand out. I have presents. never played a more vapid game. It's literally just rub on the things and then. What is this? Screen to hand out presents. I what is what am I playing? Point at the screen to hand yeah, out Yes, stop presents. it. I know. You don't have to keep telling me. The game keep like <laughs> Not only is it this, but also the game like it keeps telling me what to do. I know I'm doing that right now. Please stop telling me to point at the screen. I'm doing it. I swear. Please. At the screen. I I am. <laughs> Please. Feels like some contractual bullet point. That's it. I don't think it even saves your score. They promised you'd give out gifts. This is the easiest way. You like video games? Point at the screen and hand out presents. No. No, I can't handle it. Please. Point at the screen to hand out presents. No. I don't want to anymore. Please. Ah. The Nintendo Wii, am I right? Everybody, that's the Wii. This game is not going on my shelf with my other Wii games.
I'm like hiding it in like a dark corner of my room. Try to forget about it. <laughs> Adding point at this point to the screen to hand out presents to Twinkle Gift. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, if you ever make a Find the Moose Christmas parody game, Sasha, you know what meme is going in there now. Point at the screen to hand out presents. Like, that's... Like... Like... Make no mistake, that's literally all you do. You point at the screen, and then presents appear. That's literally it. And like, it's... it's the, like, the voice line's not lying. It sure ain't lying to, to me. That's for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. So. Uh, in just a moment, uh, I will show you. This is trailer for Twinkle Gift. Open this up. I was hoping to stream this for Christmas, but I will take a trailer as cons consolation. <laughs> Don't play it yet, please. Buddy to see it. <laughs> see it all next year to from Find the Moose Christmas. <laughs> Says Sasha. <laughs> Abyss is BRB, eh, huh? Maybe they're gonna miss their own trailer being shown. We go. Bad news trailer. There you are, Abyss. Oh wait, I should get rid of that. There we go. Oh, it was a joke, I see. Blood for lust. <laughs> the bit rate <laughs> All right, miss you can do it. You can get it out before February. Where's my... Where is it? Oh, there it is. I put it above me for some reason. Oops. <laughs> well, there you go, everybody. Has been Christmas Eve stream. I'm very excited for Bissa's game. <laughs> it's very good. And I have... <clears throat> I have helped with it a bit. So, that's cool. <laughs> I get my name in the credits. I always, I'm always really excited to get my name in the credits of a game. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's always that's always one of my favorite things. Even if it's a game that's made by somebody that I am very close with, it's still it's still nice to get my my name in there. <laughs> yeah, this is almost done with the game. It's just not quite ready for Christmas, but it'll be ready soon, I'm sure. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be really good. It's a cool game. I'm getting this game out of my Wii now, by the way. I just realized it's still in there. That's enough. <laughs> the disc is, like, warm now. How much do you think this game was played before I got it? 
The disc is kind of scratched up. I don't know how scratched up discs affect games. That wouldn't be the source of the frame rate problems, would it? It's not that scratched. Like, these look like just surface scratches that shouldn't affect anything. Because, like, did you know that, like, the surface of, 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 like, CDs and DVDs is, like, meant to get scratched up? Like, the, there's, like, a, there's, like, a protective layer on there. And, uh, it's supposed to protect the actual disc from damage. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha helped with a couple things with Twinkle Gift too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks everybody. This was a really fun stream. And funny. <laughs> I enjoyed uh, all the stuff we played today. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days. Sunday, I'll be playing Paper Mario and Deltarune with Fizz. Um, And then Thursday... Uh, we'll probably start uh, Outer Wilds DLC, me and Arrow. And I'm going to finish uh, Super Mario Bros. for Super Players. And then... Uh, uh, well, we'll probably finish Delta Rune this week, so we'll probably be back to Raymond and Paper Mario. And then uh, once, I've, once I'm done with uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, then I'll start streaming uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the... I'll just play that live. I'm I'm planning to play play it on my own, outside of the stream. Still, I swear. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for those of you who are celebrating it, have a good Christmas, and I will see you after Christmas. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>